Hello, everyone. Hi, me. We are doing a live right now, as you can see all these comments coming in. Hi, everybody. And we're also marking the start of our... Oh, yeah, I'm filming this, everyone who's on live. We're marking it's the start fest. of our Posh Fest yeah. vlog. Yeah. So everyone say yeah. hi. I don't know where to look. Video. Also, don't mind the dust all over my laptop. Sorry, we're not we're not dirty people. We just have dusty screens. We have these wonderful people watching us right now. It's like hi, 41. everybody. Everybody say hi. <laughs> but yeah, so Ryan and I are leaving for Posh Fest tonight. So oh. like, <laughs> oh, we're long going up to Minneapolis. And then we're going to be in Minneapolis Woo! for tomorrow. And then we are going to... We fly out. Fly out at 6 a.m. As my mom would say, at the ass crack of dawn. <laughs> yeah. So that's Woo! awesome. That'll be fun, though. Okay, so we just ended the vlog. Or the vlog. We just ended the live stream as we just showed you. And now we are getting in the car. It is right now Tuesday night at 8.30. So... It's gonna be late because it's like a three hour drive and we're going up to Minneapolis because we kind of wanted a day to like simmer before we have to get on a plane Thursday at 6, six or 7 a.m. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're gonna head to Minneapolis right now. Three hours, probably gonna get there around almost midnight because it's 8.30. And yeah, so... We're just gonna keep checking in and stuff. I think I might make this a couple parts because it's gonna be a lot of footage and we're gonna give you some Posh Fest footage and we're going to the bins tomorrow so we can show you some stuff that we got too in a vlog style. So stay tuned. Just stopping to get gas now. It's still pouring and I had to pee and now I'm cold. I don't think we told them that it's pouring but it's been pouring it's here all day. It's raining. So. It's awful. Mike is being as he usually is in the car Mike. which is irritating. <laughs> um, but now it is 9.35 30? and I think we're about an hour in. Two hours left. whoop de doo fine. Well, uh, we're here. I'm tired. And it's 11.50, so like... I'm about to go to bed. I'm tired. So right now it's 10.21 a.m. the next day, which is Wednesday. And we got some breakfast Check pizza. It. Cheers. And some very big drinks. We got a big old diet. Because we're going to the bins. That's <clears throat> one of the reasons why we came early. Mm -hmm. To have a relaxed day, but also an intense day because we're going to the bins. So I'll put a I'm little bit, I'll put a few clips and stuff of the bins in there. And then we'll do like a mini haul, but like not normal style. We'll just kind of like, this is what I got. The bins, and I just want to show you guys what our bins looks like. We got shoes over here, there's electronics in the corner, um, in the way back is books, and then there's clothing all over here. Ryan is picking. I also want to say hi to Sherry and Beth. There's Sherry over there. I know you're probably going to watch this. And Bev is right here. Thank you guys so much for introducing yourself. But yeah, if you guys ever see us somewhere, please introduce yourself. Like, we'd love to meet all of you. And we had so much fun talking to you, Sherry. <laughs> Ryan is digging hard. Okay, so we're done. We got all of Ryan's here. I also bought a Keurig, whoops. I'm got new freezing. Halloween decor. It's so cold. Mine's on the trunk. Oh, okay. <laughs> that we was done. fun. We I did mean... pretty good though. We'll show you. I don't think I can flip this when I'm doing this. So we'll do we'll a haul when we get. Ryan. We'll do that little like kind of haul later because we're also going to go to another thrift store that's like a savers and now we're going to go get noodles and cup because ryan's starving and i'm pretty hungry too i'm hungry and yeah we did pretty good it was so nice to meet Ev and sherry you guys were hi. so nice and it was so it was fun, to, so talk much to, fun to talk to you sherry we spoke hi. to for a while Bev yeah if you guys husband. she at first she wasn't going to say anything she said but if you guys ever see us please, no please, run up to me and say hi 100 please 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 please, please, please say please, hi please, 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 we'd love to meet you guys we'd love to talk to you because yeah. like i'm a social butterfly I, like I don't talk to anyone i live in an apartment 24 7 while ryan's at school alone <laughs> <laughs> i have mike i talk to a dog yeah, but yeah so next up noodles and company we just got some noodles and we both always get the pesto cavatappi. Um, they also have a new like make it a meal thing. So I got the 
Thai chicken, that's it. And then Ryan got a tomato bisque, which I used to always get, but I don't know why I've just lately been getting that. Freezing. Hello again. So we just got done eating and now we are at our favorite thrift store, literally our favorite thrift store. We can't wait. We always get the best finds here, so we're gonna include what we find here in the little like after haul. So that's coming up next. Third section. finally back and done with like all of our shopping so like we said we're gonna show you a like weird little impromptu haul from our thrift adventures ryan's recording hi i'm gonna show you my stuff and then he's gonna show you his stuff just like it's not a like normal haul we just want to quickly show you everything so some of this is from the bin some of it's from the like savers we went to I'll tell you what's from what. So these are from the bins. I don't ever get Toms, but these are just cute. They have umbrellas on them. So these are from the bins. They're some classic like leather um, Timberlands. They're like a size five. They're tiny. I thought they were kids, but they weren't. Those are from the bins. This is from the thrift store. These are five bucks. They're Ferragamo and they have like the embroidered Ferragamo on them. That's the main reason I got them because that was kind of a cool little detail. This is the first time I've ever had these. It's Jack Rogers. These were at the bins. It's a really cute like coral color, especially at the bins. That's really good. Um, these are Zara Woman also at the bins. I would not probably have bought this style if it wasn't at the bins. These are Tory Burch flats. They're like woven, cute little whatevers. They have a bow with the Tory logo on them. They're actually in really good shape. Bins. I found the other one. Yeah, yeah. I had found the first one and then Ryan helped me find the other. This is for us. <laughs> it's a jack-o'-lantern light. It's cute, it works. We tested it. I also got myself a Keurig, so. It was uh, 25 cents. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a Club Monaco from the bins, just like a turtleneck. Feels like it might have some wool in it, but I don't think it's 100%. This Ryan warned me was a good, I lifted it up. This is from the bins. It's Barefoot Dreams. It's really soft and I was gonna throw it back, but I said the brand out loud and Ryan told me to grab it because it's apparently really expensive and people do sell them for like 70 bucks. This is a girl's North Face, which will go for the to the real real. This is Isabella St. Clair which is anthro. Sorry, I'm not saying sizes. We're just trying to like quickly do this. We still have so much to do. So like, <laughs> this is theory, which will go to the real real. Um, oh yeah, cause time update, it's about 6 p.m. So our flight leaves in 13 hours. We have, it's 5.55, we have to be up at four in the morning. Yeah. So this is Montau or whatever. It's like a TJ's brand. Like we said in the live show, we've been really bad with our second closet, our like combined one. So that's what that's for. We kind of want to boost that back up again. This is a brand I wouldn't usually get, but at the bins I will. And it's pretty cute and it's in season. It's Denim and Supply Ralph Lauren. I think you know where this is going to go. I found this. I'm not selling this. <laughs> this is a really cute Adidas Originals. It's going to be really big on me because it's a large, I still will wear it. This is Minnie Bowden. 
the only like child brand that I like. This is a Postmark Anthropology. I've actually had this before and I don't think it's sold, so it could end up on the second Poshmark. Um, this is from the thrift store. This was like $7.50. It's this really cute J. Crew duster and it ties in the front, like we said. Dusters are always extremely popular in the fall. This is a Free People from the same thrift store. This was about $5.50 and I've had it in blue, I think, and it did really good. I think it's actually a dress, even though it looks like a tunic. This is Chaser and it was from the same thrift store. This was also like $5.50. Really cute. Chaser has been doing really good for me lately. It used to not do super well. This was about four bucks from the thrift store. Really cute, We the Free. It's like a t-shirt over a long sleeve shirt that's kind of Like thermal. a turtleneck. Yeah. Another thing from the live show, this is that Title IX brand that I usually only get at the bins. Active wear was 60% off, so this was like- It was only 40% off. Oh. So it was like- So this was like four bucks. It's like expensive. It's like Athleta, and I think it has kind of like a little cult following. It's a very- It's like a- Not it's like, widely known. Isn't it for like golfing? Like you wear it when you go no, golfing? No, it's literally like Athleta. Like the model hmm. pictures are like people in nature and stuff. It's weird. Weird. This is J. Crew Collection. Where'd you find the these? the bins. <laughs> I didn't show you these. They're sequin. Silk. Posh fest. <laughs> it's gonna be too late. <laughs> oh, no. Um, this is another Club Monaco. This again feels like it has wool in it, but not 100%. It's like color block. This might be for a consignment store, but honestly, I might try it. It's Ann Taylor. It's like a wool sweater and it ties around the wrists. He found this in green last time we were there. Yeah, I did. This is that was like an XL. This is like an XS. So. This is a bolo that we haven't had in the bolo video yet, but it is. It's Jill Stewart, but this is Jill Jill Stewart. Um, she's really expensive. This dress is probably like 350 or 400 bucks. Jill Stewart is more expensive, obviously. This is Sanctuary, which I like never get, but I got a camo Sanctuary romper and it's doing really good. And sometimes it can be anthro, so I was like, just gonna get it. If it's not anthro, I might try it. If it is, obviously that's awesome. This is Armani Collezioni, which is Armani collection in like French. We'll just say, I was gonna say, we'll just say not English. Um, that's definitely real, real. Put a Prada dust bag. It's pretty <laughs> I think awesome. it's a Prada shoes dust bag. It's a Prada sport shoes dust bag, yeah. This was the first thing I found. It's St. John. And they're these blue pants. Oh, they're I, pants. I thought it was a vest I for some actually reason. didn't even see the tag at first, but I know St. John knit so well now that I literally was just like, yep, yeah, this is St. John. This is a really expensive brand. It's Obermeyer. I don't, that's never been in a Bolo video, but Obermeyer is really expensive. The Real Real takes it. It does have Hiawatha Bicycle Club on it. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with this, but when I know how expensive it is and it's like new, I just got it. It was at the bins. First time I might try J. Jill, unless I bring it to a consignment store and just don't want to. It's a medium. It's like sequin. It has mohair in it. It's from the bins. I know some people like swear by J. Jill, but I also know it doesn't do as good anymore. This is my first time finding Rice, another Bolo brand. It's really expensive. This sweater is probably about $350, 400 also. It's got some wool in it, and that was at the thrift store. And my last thing, and then we'll go over to Ryan, is this wool coat from the bins. Kind of like my Dior's. It's an like evergreen color. It is missing a button right here. But they all need to be replaced anyways. And it's Halston, like Halston Heritage, but like the main line, which I think means it's also men's. So. That's awesome. That'll probably go to the real real. Let's show you Ryan. Hi everybody. Here's here's my portion. Okay, so I got from the bins these vans. They're like woven almost. I just need to like clean them up a little bit. They'll be fine. Um, these I got just because I thought they were cute. It's a oh, this is just Tahari. Yeah, they're just regular Tahari. Um, from the bins, I just thought like. A little neutral like green bird. very in it's season tie detail it's cute this is one of my things for me 
I don't know what the hell it is. Well, it's a vase, I don't know what it is. I don't know where it's from. There's no label on the bottom, but like, it's gonna look adorable in my home. Um, last accessory is this really cool vintage belt. It has the like, the metal, I don't know what this is called, I don't think about belts. And then there's the like, big part of this strap inside and on all the thing, it has this like really cool like tooling almost. Um, okay. This is like kind of an accessory, but like kind of not. It's an intimately free people bralette. These do super, super, super well for me. And this is the new- You can sell them higher than retail. Yeah, and this is the new intimately tag. So I was very excited to see that. And this is a size large, which is also good. I didn't realize that. Also, pardon the lighting. We're literally just We're doing this in my parents' Jackson, living yeah. room. So, so like- We don't have our studio lights with us right now. Um, This is for the second closet. It's Ivory Love, which I have no idea what this brand is, but like, isn't this thing, it's a jumpsuit. It's How adorable. How cute is this? With the little like, smocked waist and the little sleeve detail. Also, a lot of colleges use those colors. It's like maroon and- Yeah, exactly. Or, yeah, it's like maroon and gold, which Jeez. my college use, the, college, the University of Minnesota uses, a lot of them do. Mine uses purple. These are just J. Crew, which I thought were kind of cute. It's like a little rope detail. So you didn't show me those. Uh, these are a size two. Cute. They're just like, they're a little old with J. Crew though. They're not like super new. Very going on a cruise. Yes, exactly. This I got strictly because it has cats on it and anything with cats on it sells. Um, I, I think it's just a boutique brand. It's a size medium. It's a really cute like baseball style tee. Um, this is a an Ann Taylor kind of like dolman sleeve kind of sweater with the leather patches that go down the sleeve and on the neck and this is a size large she cute um this is a vintage the doors t-shirt it is i'm gonna say like a vintage size like medium um and the graphic is really worn out and really kind of faded which is what i look for in a lot of vintage tees okay it says Vintage size XLs. So that's probably like a modern size, like medium. She tiny. Um. Okay. Next, this is from the Savers. Whatever. It is a J Crew sweater with a pair on it, and it's a size extra small. And it's a wool blend. It's so soft. J Crew sweaters too good. Yeah. Um. Okay. So these are from that same store. They are Athleta size extra small. Just like a little gray, like crop. Um, these are from that same store. They are Lou Lou Lemon, size oh. four, and they're just like a pair of the crops. They're kind of like they look like denim, but like kind of not really. Yeah, they are weird really materials. He also accidentally paid way too much for them. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know how to describe that fabric. Um, these I was very excited to find. They are a pair of Spanx, just plain black. I wasted leggings. Like we said in the bolo, Sphinx does really well. And I think these are a size medium. They are. But like, good old, good old pair of classic Sphinx. This is from that same thrift store. It is a free people sweater with the exposed hem on it. And this is a size extra small. And this is well, I just need to kind of like de-wrinkle it a little bit because she was a little smashed. Uh, this is from the bins. It's a Desigal t-shirt. I have no idea if this is men's or women's. I'll have to like try it out and fit or forfeit and see what happens. Uh, Desigal does pretty good for me. This was from the Saber store. It's Athleta. It's this like hooded kind of performance jacket with the thick straps. And this is a size small. Okay, this was also from that store. It is like a really classic sweatshirt, but it has these like really cool big flowy sleeves. And this is Banana Republic, size small as well. And it's just plain on the back. Another athletic jacket. This one is a size extra small. This one's really cute. And it just has the like cute little like heather gray detail on the sleeves. Like half zip. And then on the back, yeah, it's a half zip. And then there's the little, I don't know why they put it like right in the middle. Um, this is also from that same store. It is Free People Movement. This like really cute dolman sleeve kind of track. Free People Movement always is super good. Like track jacket type thing. 
And this is a size, I wanna say size small. And then just like a plain back. This is from the bins. I was very excited to find it. It is men's vineyard vine size XL, like a quarter zip fleece pullover. I thought it was gonna be Patagonia because all I saw was the sleeve and I got really excited with this like windbreaker material. I think I've seen this before. On the back. Um, this is an, a new to me brand, but I have been looking for it for a long time. It is Jam's World. I know a lot of people probably know what Jam's World is. It's just this really pretty, like, really big, really flowy, like, tropical looking dress, and it has pockets. Um, these were also from the bands. They are made well, size medium, and they are just these cute little, like, black, like, track shorts. I don't really know how well these are gonna come up. There's two pockets in the front, and then there's just, like, two pockets on the side. This is from the bands as well. It's just J. Crew size two, which is like a size small. And it has these like really pretty, like flouncy sleeves. And then this really cool like floral pattern. These are from the bands there, American Apparel. I love selling American Apparel. They don't really make them that much anymore because they went out of business and they came back. These are a size medium. And these are the classic extra high rise jeans in black. These I'll probably get like 25, 50 bucks for them because they do amazing and like look at how high these are that's like a foot this is a, a denim and supply ralph lauren t-shirt it's a size medium and it's just plain in the back and it has the little like american flag detail on the pocket which i thought was cute and then these i sold a few times before and they've done pretty decent for me it is bonobos these are a size 36 um it's just like a really it's a new brand for like men's dress pants and I've heard that they do pretty good. And they've done pretty decent for me in the past. So, and that's it. To assert his dominance, Michael has found a smaller pug to bully, harass, and injure. Guys, I am like so excited and anxious. If I didn't say it before, this is going to be my second ever plane ride. And I know that there's no need to be anxious because like car crashes happen more often and they're more dangerous riding in a car. Also, the way my hat is, it looks like I have a huge forehead. Um, but yeah, I'm nervous about that. Um, but like it's 8.15 now. Like we have to wake up in eight hours. I'm so excited, but I'm so nervous. Like. <sighs> also here is our luggage ryan got a carry-on and we both get like a on the flight bag we used sun country that's like a um company that is home based in minneapolis and the one flight i took was through them and it went fine so like that's what we used, and that was the cheapest flight, so, yeah. And then there's my Adidas. I didn't need a carry-on because, like, we're not sourcing or anything really there. We might go to Last Chance, but that's about it. Maybe we'll go to a few thrift stores, but we're really not planning on getting, like, anything because we just went to the bins, as you obviously just saw. And, yeah, this will also be my first time being away from Mike, literally since I got him. So that's gonna be really weird for me and Mike. Right, Mike? Oh, It's gonna be weird. Mike has slept in my bed every single night since I got him. And now I'll be in a bed without him, and that makes me sad. Hope he's not too sad. Luckily, he'll be at my parents' house, so I mean, like, it's not like he's just in some pet hotel with random people or anything. He like loves this house. He gets so excited to come here. And there's a big yard and he's got his grandma and his grandpa that he gets to stay with and his aunt Misty, my parents' pug, which I'm sure I have showed you guys, but this is her. She's a little bit older, a little bit chunkier, <laughs> but they'll have fun. So Mike gets a play date and I get a play date with a bunch of posh people. So yeah. Super excited, super nervous. This video is probably gonna be a few parts. I think this first part is gonna be our trip to Phoenix. Second part is going to be like day one and third part day two, I guess. So yeah, this isn't it ending, but like 
We are getting close. Okay, everyone, so it's 4.50, and we're getting in the car to head to the airport. We had an alarm for 4.30, so this is pretty rad, isn't it? <laughs> it's late and early, and I'm lazy and hungry. I, this is awful. I want to go home. Yep. <laughs> I want to just be me. And Mama Debbie's going to be driving us. Also, yes. I just realized I didn't say bye to Mike. Yes, you did. Not really. Well, it's never, it's never goodbye. Makes me sad. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Debbie to come out. I'm in the video. Oh. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. <laughs> We're off to the airport. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's too early for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> It's just got to the video, or just got to the video, just got to the airport. Have a great time, keep in touch. I will, I'm nervous. Okay, bye. Okay. Just made it through TSA, we made it through security. I'm not a national hazard. <sighs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that, the line was like so much longer than we expected it to be. But it's okay, we did it. Oh my gosh. Um, like, luckily the line was moving really fast, but like, I literally had a panic attack. It was <laughs> so long. Okay, time check, it is 6.15. My ass, I know I get, so. I'm so mad because I don't want to start with the Haley, Haley, Haley's Hangar, and Nick, 18 and Thrift, are at the same airport, but they're in different terminals. We don't get to like so talk to them. Take, like, we buddy just get to sit here now. But, yeah. Okay, we board in like 20 minutes. That's so the update. I'll put a little clip of us like sitting on the plane getting on, but then I think the next part is gonna have the next part of our trip. So yeah. Walking to the plane. <laughs> hmm? I know we didn't have time for Starbucks, and I'm like low key, high key disappointed. But like, I'd no, rather be uncaffeinated like, than not on the plane. You can get like plain pop. Can you give us I'm not like, paying for anything on that day. Yeah, they give you the little like free ones. Like, oh, yeah. In we go. Ha <laughs> ha